Hello everybody, this is Captain Jerwa, and yes, welcome back to another Pokemon Showdown Live, and in this live, I'm going to be sh uh, showing off the team that I used in Fozon's Summer OU Tournament, which is still going on, even though it's freaking October, so that kind of tells you how long it's been going on. But uh, yeah, I wanted to show you my team that I used in it. This team was not made by me, it was made by Super Effective 87 so yeah, shoutouts to him, his link will be in the description. I'm not going to make a go you teams, and he is, so that's why I used his. And the reason why you haven't seen this team yet, or any other matches from the tournament yet, is one, because I didn't want to reveal my team, and I didn't want to reveal my opponent's team, because my opponent, Arsena, is still in the tournament, but I think he's either going to win or lose kind of soon. So I'm going to start uploading these matches now, but yeah. Anyway, let's just get into the team here. I have a Focus Sash t -tar. This is just kind of to uh, hopefully get a free kill on something. Like, it can get a kill against Terrakion. It can outspeed and kill Landris. It can kill Pharaoh, since it's got max special attack and max speed. And it's more of just, like, a suicide lead and just trying to, like, weaken, cripple, or kill some threat on their team. There we got our Banda Terrakion to break some physical walls here. And we want to do that for our Swords Dance Scissor here, our bulky Swords Dance Scissor. Uh, we've got U-Turn to kind of just give us momentum early game. And then hopefully just trying to sweep late game with Bullet Punch. And then we've got our Hippowdon, Physically Defensive Wall, Stealth Rocker. Just want to keep the sand up. We've got both Titar and Hippowdon because we love our sand here. Here we've got our Rotom because rain teams are annoying. And we have Thunder Wave because the Laddie Twins are annoying. And I'm getting called. <laughs> um, and yeah, so if you T-wave the Laddie Twins, then they're basically just destroyed by Scissor, because you can just roost and U-turn and that kind of stuff. Then we've got our Latias. It's like offensive with Sleep Talk, no HP fire, and this is to uh, counter Breloom, that kind of thing. So yeah, um, let's just try to get a battle here. I've tried recording this before, but I literally ran into Riolu, and then right after that, I ran into a team that was like, all walls, like Skarmory, Heatran, Jellicent, uh, what else? There was just, it was just all walls, his entire team was walls. And what the, that? <laughs> okay. Uh, why can't I just get a nice standard OU match to show off this team? <laughs> well, his team is kind of destroyed by Rotom. Uh, I'm just going to lead off with Rotom, I believe. Damn it. <laughs> he has the one thing that destroys Rotom. But I'm just going to uh, switch right into Scissor. Because what? What a guy! What a guy! Oh wait, I can just U-turn. Okay, not trapped. <laughs> I thought I just got predicted and trapped there. Okay. You're probably gonna go for rocks, so I'm gonna go into T Tar. Okay, no, you're just going right for HP fire. So my sash is gone. But that's okay, because I can basically still just kill one Pokemon with this T Tar. Because that's how it works. If he brings in like Sand Slash. Actually no, he has a Torkoal which can wall this, except that Purple Pass is dead now, so that's fine. <laughs> I remember I've used Purple Pass on this team, it was kind of just a joke team I made that was like all rock type Pokemon and a Hippowdon, and that's dead. It was just like all rock type Pokemon and Hippowdon, and I had a Purple Pass on it, and uh, it's decent for trapping steals like Skarmory and Pharaoh, but uh... It really doesn't work too well against, uh... Why would you... Uh... Why would you... Uh... What? Mm. Oh. Uh... Why would you just continuously set up substitutes when I'm spamming Ice Beam? Like, see, this is Smash Call, also. I already know. Okay. So that guy just left. I already know that's Smash Coal because he doesn't have leftovers. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, let's just get another battle here. I'd like to just get one just nice standard OU match 
for this live so I can show you that what the team is about and I'd like to not run into freaking walls or freaking Swampert and Darmanitan in OU <laughs> and literally everyone I faced has had a Gliscor which is really weird because Gliscor really is not a thing too much anymore it's good but it's really not too much of a thing that Swampert is actually kind Yeah, I'm, uh, I, I have a road on my guess, so let's just lead with this. Don't really care if he gets rocks, I just need to weaken this Swampert, because it's going to be annoying if it's at full health, so let's just check. Yeah, okay, you lost duty and activity. Alright. And the nice thing about this Rotom, too, is if he decides to bring in Latios on me, I can just like stay in, live a hit, and get off a T-Wave, and basically just completely cripple him, so. Although, that's probably not a good idea, because, um, I need this Rotom at a decent amount of health for that Gyarados. Because that Gyarados could get really, really scary if I don't have my Rotom. Okay, brings in Jirachi. Ooh. And I just hacked him. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna want to get my rocks up here. He seems like an offensive Jirachi because, yeah, that that uh that uh Hydro Pump shouldn't have done that much damage. And he has Flash Cannon. Okay. So let's. We need to think about this. I'm gonna go into Scissor because I don't want my hippo taking too much damage since he does have that Darmanitan in. Oh, stupid Swampert. Why you, why, why you, why you, why you gotta, why you gotta wall things with your typing? And why you gotta be faster? Oh wait, I don't have any speed investment. Oh wait, I thought he resisted bug. I really don't understand how, like, bug works offensively. I, I, I could, I always think, like, water and or ground resists bug. But uh, they do not, so <laughs> that's that. But all right, even if you do like bring in Latios, it's uh, it's gonna take a bit of damage from a Hydro and Rocks and Sand, unless you're like random leftovers. So, all right, you just sack your Jirachi, okay? And now he's probably gonna bring in the Latios, I would think, or maybe Darmanitan, or he's gonna be a dick and just bring in Gliscor and start subbing. Um, yeah, it's gonna be one of those. What you gonna do, guy? <laughs> I think the reason why, like, Rotom Wash is just such a dick that it takes people a while to figure out what they want to send into it. Um, I do have a T-Tar, so if he has HP Fire, he's probably not gonna go for it, I don't think. So, Scissor seems safe. <gasps> what a guy! But I do have special defense, so I have to bullet punch here, because I'm going to be dead to rocks. So best use of my scissor is just a bullet punch. And if he switches out, then I do get to bring it in one more time, and I could potentially roost or just bullet punch again, but I actually know everything on his team is faster than me. so. Can't really roost, and since that didn't kill me, I'm thinking he's expert belt. That's my thought. Um, so I'm gonna bring in Titar. Just go for a crunch, and hopefully, after whatever happens next happens, he'll bring in Gliscor, and then I can kill it. Although it usually I okay brings in Swampert. Ah, uh, goddamn Swampert. Why you do this? Why you do this, Swampert? I hate you. <laughs> okay, that's fine. And now I just spam more Hydros, and he brings in Gyarados. I Volt Switch. But uh, I just really need to whittle the Swampert. It's really annoying. What a guy! What a guy! Alright, but this... This just... I'm gonna click Close Combat. Ah, oh, goddamn Swampert, I hate you. He's, uh, he has a Gliscor, though, but I have to click close combat, because, okay. 
I was pretty sure he was gonna stay in there thinking he could take one, but I am banded, but uh does have the Gliscor, and now he gets a free sub, and now he's just gonna... Oh, he's gonna go into Gyarados, okay. But I do have a Rotom. Although it is kind of weakened now, because of freaking Swamper. Ah, oh, stupid Swamper. Hate Swamper. Okay. Which... This is probably his DD Sweeper, since everything else on his team... I guess he did have a Calm Mind Rachi. He's gonna. That's that's a smart play. Cause now I'm forced to Volt Switch out. Cause that's my only move that hits him, and he misses a Stone Edge. So that's kind of unfortunate. But I would have just proceeded. I could have lived it. I'm pretty sure. Um, and I would have just brought in Terrakion regardless and gone for a Stone Edge here. So. Eh, it is actually no. Actually no, the cancel button's not gonna work. It might have been smarter for me to bring in Latios and go for a Draco because he still can just go into freaking I hate it Gliscor right now. Although I'm not sure how much abandoned Stone Edge does to it, but now we'll never know. So Gare is gone, which is good because everything else I can kind of handle except for this freaking guy. I <sighs> oh he sword stands okay. That's fine. Actually, no, that could be a problem. Um, can you touch Rotom? Because you probably have Ice Fang. Can you touch Rotom? Flying Gem Acrobatics. Okay, that can kill me. This is not good. Oh, wait. Okay. But I can still just hopefully either kill him or weaken him. Okay, I can't just kill him with a Draco. Gliscor is bulky, so I never underestimate its ability to take special hits still, because it always does manage to live some special hits sometimes, so. So, now all he has left is Latios and Darmanitan. I do have plenty of things to take Flare Blitzes, but nothing to take Dracos. But I do have Terrakion, so I'm going to sack my Hippo here. And if he goes for Draco, then I can just bring in Terrakion afterwards and spam some close combats. Or actually, I might want to go for Stone Edge. That might be more advisable, I don't know. Um, actually, no, I can just go for close combat. So yeah, he does Draco there. So... I can bring in Terrakion, actually no, hold on, because if he switches out into Hippowdon, or not into Hippowdon, if he switches into Darmanitan, as I close combat and dies, he can bring back in Latios, and potentially, actually no, then he would die to Sandstorm after killing Tarek. Yeah, I can just close combat here, I'm pretty sure. Because if he locks him, if he kills Terrakion with Psy Shock, okay, he just stays in good. Okay. That that makes things a lot less complicated that since he just stays in. Because now his Darmanitan can kill me with Flare Blitz, but I can just kill him with a Psy Shock. So that should be GG. <laughs> it has been a while since I played OU, damn. Uh, I might get one more after this, I'm not sure. We have been going for like 15 minutes though, because freaking stall and people freaking taking forever to click their moves. I guess we did get two matches though, but the first one was really not a match at all. And this guy, okay, we need a timer here. We need a timer. So yeah, anyway. Well, we're just doing nothing here, because this guy. Um, I'd like to thank Superfective87 for giving me this team. It did help me get very, very far. Well, not very far. Kind of far in the tournament. And uh, yeah, this tournament was very, very good for my channel, because it helped me meet a lot of people. And since I've joined it, I my sub count, I think, is more than doubled. So... <laughs> Yeah, definitely, this tournament was a good experience. I definitely 
would recommend everyone to join tournaments like this when they pop up in the future just because they're fun and even if you lose it's just whatever it's better it's better to join it and lose first round than just not join it at all in my opinion so that's that that was a gg finally got a decent battle with or decent battle with this team and yeah <laughs> so anyway Hope you guys enjoyed this kind of more shorter showdown live. I'll have the uh, battles coming out in the next week. Some of them are probably going to be replays, but you know. And I'm getting called again. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.